Well, it's the season of giving, but too often all kids can think about is what they're going to get this time of year. And gratitude is one of the most important lessons that parents can teach their kids, but it's also one of the most difficult. It is. And child care professional Elise McGregor from Mill Newton's Nest is here with some ideas maybe some activities that parents can use not just during the holiday season but really when you think about it it has to happen all year long yeah morning at least good morning well it's never too early hmm. I, i'm guessing to start teaching your children mm -hmm. about uh being grateful and, and gratitude is it no it isn't and we teach them at a very young age including even our babies we start teaching them how to sign please and thank you we speak to them you know with respect as thank you for this, please do this. And so as it builds, as they get older, they start to kind of pull it all together. Now, how do you make the transition too? Because as you teach young kids, sometimes you can make it an automatic thing, which sounds good to parents' ears, hooray. Mm -hmm. But how do you teach the, especially as they get a little older, that those words or that sign, that thank you, ha should have a feeling of gratitude mm -hmm. with it, not just, a, you know, a lot of times that's like, ah, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, thanks. Yeah. But the meaning is not there. How do you... In you just push that into them. So as they get older, we start pairing things with what would you be thankful for? Mm -hmm. So during our group time, we ask them, you know, how was your weekend? What did you do this weekend? What's one thing that you're thankful for? And kind of keep reiterating what it means to be thankful. It's still a hard concept for yeah. very young children, mm -hmm. but we feel that modeling is one big way that children can, you know, start to grasp the concept. Right, when they see their parents mm -hmm. being grateful, yes. and then they can kind of understand that. So are there things you can do at your home that can mm -hmm. help facilitate them getting to that place where they understand what that feeling is and, and how to, you know, extend it? Yes, one great thing to do as we all have children that sit down with their list and things that they want and to pair that with something that they're thankful for. And this is more of a priceless gift, things, things that they can't buy. And it's a great tool to then open that discussion for being thankful, but also it's something you could save and look back at as years to come. And you also say that it's important to, well, like with anything, I guess, as a kid, you got to practice and practice mm -hmm. and practice these things. How do you do that? It's that constant reinforcement mm -hmm. and modeling for children, and as they continue to grow, they will start to grasp and um, pull it all together. I would think being this a daily conversation, whether mm -hmm. it's at the dinner table, you know, and talking about maybe the being grateful for the food that you have there. Mm -hmm. Some families do it by praying before they mm -hmm. they eat. But if honestly, if, if kids, um, if they don't do this on a regular basis, they maybe it's understandable how they don't make that connection. And, and especially if parents say, well, when I was a kid, I never had dot, dot, dot. And you just, you know, you lose kids right. at that yeah. stage. That's very true. And I think it's that constant reinforcement with them. And you even see the littlest kids mimicking older adults and how, you know, they hang up the phone. And if you're constantly saying, thank you, have a great day, you hear them playing Mm -hmm. on the phone and a little two-year-old saying thank you have a good day it's just something that they pick up on and they really use that positive role model from their parents and their teachers and uh, again with all of this i mean as you mentioned with little kids it's hard to grasp because innately the little guys are selfish they're all about the me yeah. that's all they know because mm -hmm. they they feel the me they see the me um you're saying just be patient with yeah. your kids mm -hmm. they'll get there they will get there but to start early because yeah. it's much harder to start at a later age oh, yeah. when they have no idea very good well, Elise McGregor, thank you so much for joining thank us this guys. morning. Appreciate Good it. Good conversation. Uh, it is uh, 946 right now. For more information, you go to lnnest.com.